Hey guys, what's up? It's Zeronix GFX here, and I've got a, a, a tutorial today in After Effects. It's going to be the first uh, tutorial that I'm doing because I just got my Blue Snowball mic. It's a Blue Snowball Ice. Um, my laptop mic sucks really bad, so I got this. And uh, this is kind of a quality test, but at the same time, it's an After Effects tutorial, and this basically is just going to be on CC Lens. So you're going to want to start off by, you know, opening After Effects and going to New Project, or unless you already have one open. Yeah, so you're going to go to Import, and, well, File, Import, and, f and File again. Um, I am going to pick a file right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll just take Vila's Clip. Alright, so... Just drag it down into your composition right here, and that's going to create a new comp. So you can see that this this is 10 seconds long. Doesn't matter that much. Um, so what you're going to do first off is find where the shot is. So you're going to kind of scrub through and just find where the shot takes place. So about right there. And then duplicate the layer. And if you want, you can press Shift-1, and that'll create a little marker right here. Uh, just so you can kind of remember. And uh, on this top top thingy, the top uh, top layer, you're gonna go to color correction. Oops, sorry. Color correction. I'm gonna do this without uh, at, or without magic bullet looks, just because some of you guys might not have it. And you're gonna kind of create, you know, just a nice color correction. It's not gonna be the best because it's not magic bullet looks, but you know. So just that'll be nice. And if I take maybe. CC toner, oops. Uh, bring them. and go to mid tones. Make those color. Should I make that? Let's just say like a bluish. All right, I'm gonna blend it kind of with the original, so it's not too, too much. All right, there. That looks about good. That's just a simple. You know what? I might add a little bit of glow. So you're just gonna go into effects and presets and um, add glow. Oh, also, if your effects and presets tab isn't here, um, you can just go up to uh, window and then effects and presets. And then if you want to, if it appears somewhere like way up here, just grab these little, the things with the little dots, and you can just move it around. Um, so with my glow, I'm gonna bring this up to like 75, so it doesn't glow too much. Uh, I'll bring this to like 225, and then glow intensity like two. Alright, so now we've got just a nice CC. So, it's not the best CC ever, but it still looks good. So this is where the shot happens. Now, you're going to take this top one with the CC, or the color correction, and you're going to type in the effects and presets CC lens, and drag it onto Fila's clip. Now, it'll make this weird kind of bubbly circle shape. So, in CC lens, in your effects and presets, or not effects and presets, in the effect controls, you're going to keyframe size right at where the shot takes place and keyframe it down to zero so that it's not visible. Now, if you hold down control and press right on the arrow key, it'll go frame by frame. So you'll see it'll go frame by frame. But what I'm going to do is if you hold control and shift and then click the arrow keys, it'll go by uh, 10 frames. So I'm going to go about 20... I'll go 30 frames, just hold control shift and press the right arrow three times, and then I'm going to go to size right here, and I'm going to go to, let's say, like, 225, so it creates this nice kind of curve effect. Um, now what that did is, you can see that it made like an explosion kind of bubbly thing right when the shot took place, um, and it still keeps it kind of curved around here on the edges. Um, you don't have to do that. You can bring it all the way up to 500, which is the max. Um, but I keep it at that just because it looks kind of cool. So if you press U while you have this layer selected, you'll see your effect come up. And you can see these uh, keyframes. Now if you just click and drag over the keyframes, you'll see that they highlight yellow. Now if you right-click on one of them, go to Keyframe Assistant and click Easy Ease. Or you can just press F9. F9 if you have a laptop. Ah, it's not working. Or I'll just go to keyframe assistant. Easy ease. Basically what easy ease does is it kind of eases into the keyframe instead of it being such a sudden stop. It kind of slows down, I guess, before it gets to the keyframe. Um, so let's see this. 
if you press B right here you'll see that the composition thingy I don't know what you would call that it'll go to where your thing is I don't know how to do it for the end point if someone knows it might be control B oh nope that wasn't right uh, or like con control shift B no nah, it's not right I don't know if you know it just leave it in the comment section but you can press zero on your uh, keypad and it'll RAM preview or you can press this button right here to RAM preview and as you can see I'm in third right now uh, quality so it's not full quality um, I advise you to work in third or quarter depending on how good your computer is but anyway so it's finished so let's see it right, that was really fast so we can just take this end keyframe and move it over I'm gonna say till about seven seconds maybe a little bit less all right now let's see that all right. Alright, that looks pretty cool. So it's just like an explosion. It goes from no color correction till boom. Color correction. Let's see what I meant. Alright. So yeah, one more time. So that was just a quick tutorial. Uh, hope you guys like this. It's a very useful effect and it's very simple to do. Um, so leave a comment in the comment section below on a tutorial I should do next. And uh, don't forget to like this video, favorite this video, add it to your playlists, and uh, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.